Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now first, let me apologize for the terrible lighting in here. I just have to film here and it's not summer anymore and I don't have a great uh, natural lighting anymore. So my apologies, but you're not here to admire my technical setup. You are here because you want to know what happened with my mom's hyperpigmentations after using Eustrian's anti-pigment serum. Am I right? Of course I am. Okay, now let's see, if you are watching this video, that means that you've already watched this one and this one. And if you haven't, maybe it would be smart to first watch those two. I will link them right here so you can get a better understanding of this topic. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Danny. nice to meet you. I am a pharmacist specialized in cosmetology doing very detailed reviews with ingredient analysis here on my YouTube. So if you are interested in that, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Okay, now let's talk what has happened with my mom's hyperpigmentations after using the anti-pigment serum. Okay, so I have good news and bad news. Let's start with good news. Okay, so first of all, good news is that the serum actually works and it did reduce my mom's hyperpigmentations and my mom was using it for I think three months in total and she was using it only once a day in the evening before going to bed as a nighttime routine and it really did remove the hyperpigmentation so it actually re not remove it didn't remove it completely but it reduced the appearance of her hyperpigmentations that you could barely see them after three months and in the previous anti-pigment video i said that if she continues using it she probably won't have any hyperpigmentations left now that brings me to bad news did she continue using it well, unfortunately, no. And here's why. Let me explain. Let's just say that my mom isn't into skincare that much and she would have never bought this anti-pigment serum on her own. I actually bought it for her because I wanted to do a review for you guys. This was a highly requested topic. Uh, a lot of people asked me for this. So um, I pretty much used her as my guinea pig because she had those uh, spots on her face. So yeah, in a nutshell, she was my guinea pig. And after I finished filming the second part of the anti-pigment video I thought that that would be enough because that video actually showed the uh the results pretty clearly and uh, I thought that would be enough and that you guys wouldn't be interested in a third part. I didn't want to bore you guys with a third part of the same video but apparently I was wrong because a lot of you guys were actually interested in seeing a re results after three months. And first of all, I have to disappoint you because I don't have the after pics after three months of use. I never took those pics because I thought the two first videos were, were enough. So unfortunately I don't have the after pics for you guys. And and I never bought her a new serum, not because it's not good, but because I moved on with reviewing other products. For example, right now I'm reviewing Eucerin's Elasticity Face Oil and after that I will review Avan's uh, Retinaldehyde. That's why I moved on with reviewing other things and I never bought her a second bottle of the serum. But trust me when I say that this serum really did reduce the hyperpigmentations and it really did work. And you can see that in the second part of the video, this one this one right here. The second part of the video, you can obviously see the results and no, after three months, it didn't completely remove everything, but the difference was significant. Okay, now what is important here is what happened afterwards, after she stopped using the anti-pigment serum. I have more bad news. After she stopped using it, her spots came right back. <laughs> now, why has this happened? Uh, I think this is really important and I think we can all learn from this. I was aware of the importance of applying a sunscreen when using any kind of bleaching ingredient, any kind of ingredients that are supposed to fade the hyperpigmentations. Like number one rule is apply sunscreen, protect your, your skin from the sun. And of course I gave her the sunscreens and I told her that she should be using them every single day and that she should be applying enough and reapplying frequently. I explained everything to her and she said that she would do that. And after a while, I just noticed that her spots came back. And I was like, wait, 
what is going on your spots are back are you using the sunscreen that i gave you and she said oh oh i have this moisturizer that i'm using don't worry it has spf 15 and after i use that moisturizer then i will use your sunscreens and that was like in the middle of the summer when the uv irradiation is like the strongest and of course when i checked the moisturizer it only had spf 15 uh, with no uva protection and if you watch this video right here then you would know that SPF is a rating of UVB protection and uh, so if you only have SPF in a product that means you're only protected from the UVB rays but you need UVA rays because UVA rays are responsible for dark spots hyperpigmentations and for aging so I explained everything in this video right here so make sure you go watch that one for more clarification so yes she only had the UVB protection in that moisturizer that she was using and of course the spots came back in a blink of an eye and that's it so yes unfortunately yeah the spots came back but i think that we can all learn a lesson here it is really important to look for a sunscreen with both uva and uvb protection at least broad spectrum and if you're not sure which sunscreen to choose again watch this video and this is like the guidance on how to choose a good sunscreen and my personal favorite is la roche posay shaka fluid that has really high both uva and uvb protection i also did a review on that one you can check it out right here i will uh, link it right here and before i finish off this video i just want to answer the questions that you guys had for me in the previous two videos uh, that i uploaded so let's start with that okay first question how many times a day did your mom use it i bought one thanks my mom used it only once a day in the evening but you can use it up to four times a day but that's a maximum uh, limit it has a limit tiamidol the active ingredient in this antipigment serum can be used only four times a day so don't go over that number but if if you use it only once a day the first results you will probably see in about two months uh, or at least that was my mom's experience uh, moving on second question how long can you use userin products do you need rest breaks with userin as it has some type of resorcinol in it and you're not supposed to use resorcinol that long okay so the resorcinol that this uh, person mentioned is actually tiamidol tiamidol is that active ingredient that is patented by user and uh, I know why you're asking this because there is a active ingredient called hydroquinone that is also used for hyperpigmentations and with that one you need to take breaks after 16 weeks now with Tayanadol it's not emphasized I didn't see anything emphasized in the claims or on the user uh, uh, website so because of that I assume that it does not have such restrictions but of course I will update you in case I notice anything different but on the website there they they don't have stated anything regarding the restrictions of use okay next one can we have an update on your mom's hyperpigmentation now i have used it for a month and i don't know if it did anything because i have used some other things please update us so yeah here's an update yeah for, well after three months yeah i already said it was really good it really did reduce the hyperpigmentations but then they came back because she wasn't using sunscreen and all that good stuff okay hey first off cool video do you maybe know is it for younger people i'm 20 years old and i'm not sure if it would be good for my skin thanks this is not age specific and they don't have any um, claims uh, regarding the age on the website so if you have dark spots you can you can use it i live in switzerland and i asked the pharmacist if i could use it during pregnancy and she said yes you can use it in the small area should i believe her i use it twice now please advise me this is a tricky question um here's the thing other ingredients that are used for fading hyperpigmentations like hydroquinone or retinoids are actually not allowed during pregnancy now this one has again no restrictions stated on the website of userin but i'm always very cautious with pregnant women and i my my personal opinion is that i would wait until after the pregnancy and even after a breastfeeding because i don't know just to be sure tiamidol is patented by userin there's not much research on the safety of tiamidol i only found two studies online so because of that i would wait until after pregnancy 
pregnancy and after breastfeeding to to start using it now based on the claims on the website this pharmacist didn't make a mistake there are no restrictions on the website they didn't state that it shouldn't be used in pregnancy but of course i wouldn't recommend it during pregnancy or even during breastfeeding Nice video, you didn't mention that alcohol denaturated, which is essentially denaturated alcohol, okay, is one of the main ingredients. Uh, what are your thoughts on the presence of this ingredient and would it make the skin dryness more likely? I explained my opinion on denaturated alcohol in the products. You can see that right here in this video, I explained that. I don't mind alcohol because alcohol is a solvent and penetration enhancer and even though it is high up in the ingredients list it does not does not mean that it's going to be drying and this product isn't drying on the skin um, I tested it it's not drying on the skin so I don't have a problem with alcohol denaturated but if you do then yeah be warned this product does have alcohol denaturated really high in the ingredients list it's the second ingredient so yeah Okay, the last one, the last one is really important by the way. The last one says, I just bought this, but one of the pumps isn't working. I read that this is a common issue of this product. Has this happened to anyone here? How long does it take for the pink side to finally get out? Okay, um, so this actually happens to me with the Hyaluron Filler Night and Peeling Serum. Um, this, I did a video on that one. It's this one right here. If I don't have any more room to put it uh, right here, I will put it, put it in the description box so you can watch that one and with that one only one pump was working and the other one was not working in the beginning but after eight days after a week or so the, the other side started coming out as well and I didn't mention it in the anti-pigment video because with the anti-pigment serum I had no issues and they have the same packaging by the way but this was apparently a common issue because a lot of people left the comment complaining about this yeah I guess this is something that you certainly should fix but just in case it, it has happened to you you, don't worry in in about a week the other side will start coming out as well that's that's all I can say okay now that would be it for regarding this video thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye